Hey guys, Roger Revere here. Forgive me, I've been a little sick recently. So, no videos out for a while. But um, today I'm going to be uh, reviewing a home replacement app. It's called uh, GDE. So I'm going to go inside to unlock, and this is my theme. I have uh, the HDC Hero theme. You can see that right there. And um, it doesn't have any lag to it. I have some... Uh, different widgets that I installed to make it, you know, a little bit more appealing. Um, so basically what this is is that if you press the menu, you're going to get your thing here. And uh, you can go ahead and change this to list mode, which will make it, you know, like that, which is, you know, it's okay. It lags a little bit this way, but I mean, it's still, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, you can hit back and then you can have a new folder and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that back down. Alright. Whoops. Alright. Um, now, there's a lot of cool different things that you can do, and there's a lot of app, uh, themes you can download off, you know, online. So, this is the uh, the settings thing. So I'm going to go ahead and press settings. You can change the button settings, desktop settings, you know, general phone settings, which is your real settings. And then personal, personalize the appearance. So like button settings, what you can do is you can fix the menu button, the soft menu button, and then down here the uh, the two buttons on the side. So and you can do that. Uh, desktop settings. If you click this, then you know you can change the uh, number of screens, uh, you know all that desktop stuff, and then the general settings, auto hide, you know screen orientation. Uh, scrolling, show ghost drop, okay, you know, there's a lot of neat stuff, and, uh, sorry about that, and then personalized appearance, this is a cool thing, so what it is, is wallpaper and theme, as you can see that, so if I go ahead and press wallpaper, I can pick from my selection of wallpapers, which I'm not going to do, uh, theme, I had themes installed before, but I just kind of got rid of them, because I wanted to free up some space on my phone, you know, keep it nice fast. Uh, this is the hero theme, and the themes are free, I believe, or the ones I got were. And then you get, you have icons, which I think you can change up if you have any. I'm set to regular GDE, because that's all they have there. And then animations. Alright, the cool thing about this is that, you know, desktop transition. I have normal set. I can go ahead, I'll show you, uh, cubed. Oops. I'm going to show you cubed. What that is, I'm going to hit save and go back to my home. If I want to flip screens, be like that. Not laggy at all, actually. Look at that. Works really well. But I'm just not a big fan of the really fancy stuff. I kind of prefer it, you know, nice and uh, simple. <laughs> or, not too simple, but, you know, just regular. So I'm going to uh, go back to normal. Uh, you can set transition times and then menu animation, slide effect, uh, none, slide and fade. And uh, my phone, like normally with Launcher Pro, which I had previously, sometimes it lag up a little. I mean, not lag up, but like, you know, sometimes the soft keys would stop working. And I thought that was a 2.1 firmware problem. I'm still running 2.1. And I really haven't had any problems. Battery life seems to be pretty good. Not really any much different from Launcher Pro, which is surprising considering this looks a lot better. I mean, I've got the, uh, I'll, I'll give you the names of the widgets here. That widget, it's called, I'd see it changes up some of those pictures. Uh, cool thing here is toggle full screen. If you press it, you see your status bar come back up. Or your notification thing. And if you press it again, gets rid of it. I prefer it this way. Just a nice clean cut up there. But, um, alright, let me show you what that, and that one's called, uh, let's see, add widget. And then that one's called animated analog clock. And if you click on it, there's a lot of different skins you can download and choose from. And, uh, then, oh, uh, yeah. Same thing with Launcher Pro. You press the home button and it shows those. 
we got this one, you see this little thing, this, uh, you know, the circle is based on how much charge it has, so if it had like 100, it'd be all the way, if it had 50, it'd be halfway, uh, this is called circle battery widget, I'm just gonna double check here, circle battery widget, and you have different sizes you can pick from, which is pretty neat. So uh, those are the two widgets that I have. This is the hero theme. Uh, oh, I thought I got rid of that. But um, give me one moment. Animations. Normal. Probably didn't hit save. That's the problem. All right, home. As you can see, perfect. No lag. No freeze ups. And uh, that's pretty good, <laughs> considering I was like getting really upset with this phone. Sometimes it'd lag up and all the battery issues and all that. So considering that, it's a it's a pretty good uh, pretty good thing. Uh, just don't try to complicate it too much. It might freeze up a little. Like the all applications, you can see it's a little tiny bit of lag. Um, so just uh, watch out for that. But I'd recommend this uh, theme over the other ones, unless you want a white bottom or white finish, uh, I think they have those too, they have a lot of them, I can actually show you if we go to market, I'm going to go and show you that, so what I'm going to do, is I'll type in, this lets me, alright, do it myself, GDE, so, And uh, you've got the iDroid iPhone theme, which I don't know why you'd want that. If you want that kind of interface, it sucks because the uh, Android has much better themes. The Hero theme, that's the one I have. Google Chrome theme, Black Tie, Juicy Couture, Theme One, White Hero, XROM, Carbon Red theme, iAndroid, Carbon Blue, Tron, G, like Trash, Purple, Porcelain. You know, there's like. There's actually a lot. I'm not going to read you each one because look at that. That's pretty crazy. That looks pretty nice. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, as you can see, there is tons and tons. And if you have any money to spare, go ahead and uh, sp uh, spend it on this. I mean, well, don't spend it on it if you don't want it. But, I mean, I'd recommend it. As you can see, that it's lightning fast. There's no speed issues that I've had, no sticky buttons or anything. And uh, it's it's pretty smooth, as you can see there. Uh, so go ahead and uh, definitely download this if you if you want a good home replacement from Launcher Pro. Launcher Pro is a great, uh, you know, application until, I, until, you know, I got this. Launcher Pro is a little basic now. To me it feels a little bit basic, but... It's still good, and it's really useful because it has the dock down there. This is kind of just menu, and you can customize those. I have this set for call and this one for the browser, uh, but you can customize those too. But, you know, it's not like you can customize it to any application. They have a dedicated set, which you can press, and then because they have icons and stuff. So that's my only one, you know, little stint with this. But um, other than that, this is a great app. Uh, this is a great home replacement app. And I definitely recommend it to you. Out of five, I'd give this four and a half. Four and a half, only because the dock thing it doesn't have that. But other than that, and it, um, as far as I know, you can't resize any widgets uh, like the Launcher Pro one can. I could be mistaken, but so far I've not found any. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.